Once, a man came to Gautam Buddha and asked, Why am I so poor? I work hard every day, but I still struggle to make ends meet. What am I doing wrong? Gautam Buddha listened patiently to the man's complaints and asked him to sit down. He then began to speak to the man, You are not poor because you lack wealth or material possessions. You are poor because you have not learned the true value of things, the man was confused, so Gautam Buddha continued. You are always seeking more and more, without ever stopping to appreciate what you already have. You are always looking at others and comparing yourself to them. Instead of focusing on your own journey, the man nodded, beginning to understand what Gautam Buddha was saying. But how do I change this? he asked, Gautam Buddha replied, you must start by practicing gratitude. Every day, take a few moments to appreciate the things you already have, no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. Be grateful for your health, your family, your friends, and the opportunity to live another day, the man nodded. Realizing that he had been taking these things for granted. What else can I do? he asked, Gautam Buddha smiled. You must also learn to let go of your attachment to material possessions. Do not focus on accumulating more wealth or things. Instead, focus on the things that truly matter in life, such as love, compassion, and kindness, the man listened intently. Feeling a sense of clarity and purpose that he had never experienced before. He left Gautam Buddha feeling inspired and motivated to change his ways. In the days and weeks that followed, the man began to practice gratitude and let go of his attachment to material possessions. He focused on the things that truly mattered in life, such as his relationships with others, and found that he was much happier and content than before. Years later, the man returned to Gautam Buddha, this time as a wealthy and successful businessman. He thanked Gautam Buddha for his wise teachings, which had helped him to become rich in spirit and in material wealth, Gautam Buddha smiled, remember. Wealth and material possessions are not the true measure of success. Success lies in living a life of meaning and purpose. In being kind and compassionate towards others, and in finding true inner peace, so friends, we all are racing. Knowingly or unknowingly we are rat racing. This race is, endless, self-defeating, or pointless pursuit. Rat racing is all about hunting for happiness, chasing an illusion, and never feeling content. The more we achieve, the more we want another house, another car, another job, or more money, it doesn't mean that setting clear goals for the future is a bad practice. We all need a purpose and a clear vision. If we don't even know what we want, how could we ever get that? The problem occurs when we attach our happiness to future outcomes without being able to see and appreciate what's already good in our lives. Happiness is not about making it to the peak of the mountain nor is it about climbing aimlessly around the mountain. Happiness is the experience of climbing toward the peak. True happiness comes from keeping a healthy balance between the present and the future. It's when we are capable of enjoying both the journey and the destination, focusing on today's gifts as well as our dreams goals and desires.